Yeah. Yep. The barking dog experiment is one of our favourites. We do it very frequently. Well, had a match. It is a reaction of N2O, carbon disulfide, and when you ignite them, you get a blue flame and a great whoosh. And when we recorded it in slow motion, we realised we didn't understand the reaction as well as we thought we did. So now we've decided to explore it a bit further. And the first thing we decided to do was instead of having the tube vertically, to have it horizontally. Well, I have never seen the experiment done anyway except vertically. So this may be a real first. <laughs> the first thing that's interesting is that the gas lights long before the flame actually gets to the edge of the tube. The second thing was that we noticed something that we'd seen before. The flame shoots along the tube and then suddenly stops and bounces and goes rather more slowly but oscillating. Now, up till now, we had assumed, and it may be the right explanation, that the experiment produces a shock wave that hits the bottom of the test tube or the big tube and comes back again. So the flame going this way meets the shock wave coming back, which stops it for a minute, like being thumped. So we did another experiment with a tube with a rubber bung at the end instead of being a closed big test tube. What we thought might happen, the bung might shoot away like a cannon. As before, the flame started bouncing, but if there was a shock wave, it wasn't enough to remove the bump. And if you think about it, it's really quite a heavy bung. And Neil, being a tough guy, had pushed it in quite hard. So then we thought, let's do the experiment with the tube open at the bottom. As far as I know, nobody has ever tried such an experiment. Or at least they may have tried it, but I've never seen it. Now, we were really interested what sort of noise it would make, and it made a different noise, but the technician who pulled out the bung was so startled, he kicked over some glassware that was nearby. So all you can hear is a sort of mixture of whoosh and breaking glass. But the really interesting thing was that if you watch it in high speed, the flame doesn't bounce anymore. So the explanation of the shock wave seems really quite sensible. But what is also interesting is that the flame accelerates as it goes down the tube. So what I think is happening is that the flame front as it goes compresses the gas just in front of it and raises the temperature so the gas is getting hotter and hotter, so the reaction goes faster and faster. And then you get quite a spectacular fireball coming out at the end, which is actually giving out blue light. And the blue light is the emission of the excited electrons, partly from sulphur and partly from sulphur dioxide. So it's been really quite an exciting experiment. But it hasn't answered all our questions. So it's really quite exciting. It shows if you do more experiments, you learn more things. But of course, it's given us lots more ideas. 
So, in a video or two's time, there'll be some more excitement from the barking dog. Subscribe to our channel and you'll see some more barking dogs in interesting positions. But actually what this video footage has shown us is that it actually goes in stages. It sort of goes, it sort of chugs its way to the bottom of the tube.